today we are going to discuss about pressure gauge and this is the figure of the boiler where you can see the pressure gauge so if you zoom in then you will see this type of the pressure gauge in the boiler so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management at the end of this video you will be able to understand function location construction working and animation of the pressure gauge and this is the list of the boiler mountings according to ibr that means indian boiler regulation and out of this all boiler mountings today we will see about the steam pressure gauge it is one of the boiler mountings so you can understand it is essential and compulsory part of boiler so let's see one by one all the features of the pressure gauge so let's start with the function of the pressure gauge it indicates the pressure of the steam inside the boiler shell location it is usually mounted on the front top side of the shell here you can see in the pressure gauge red color indicates the low pressure and high pressure there are several types of the pressure gauge to measure pressure but commonly used pressure gauge is burden tube or you can say c type pressure gauge and today we will discuss about c type pressure gauge and here you can see this is the c type pressure gauge or you can say burden tube pressure gauge it has a circular band burden tube of oval cross section tube is close at one end and connected at the other end to the steam space of boiler through siphon tube and here you can see the siphon tube so one end is connected to the burden tube pressure gauge and the other end is connected to the steam space of the boiler shell the siphon is filled with water which prevents hot steam from entering the pressure gauge and keeps the gauge cool close end of burden tube is attached to a tooth sector with the help of link this sector meshes with a small pinion on the central spindle which is attached with the pointer now very important part is the working of burden tube pressure gauge here you can see the cross section of the burden tube is the oval shape or you can say elliptical shape and this is the animation of the burden tube pressure gauge here you can see the pointer will deflect according to the movement of this burden tube when steam pressure is applied the elliptical tube that means this burden tube tries to acquire a circular cross section as a result stress is developed and the tube tries to straighten up thus the free end of the tube moves up depending on the magnitude of the pressure of the steam a deflecting and indicating mechanism rotates the pointer so here it is very simple due to the movement of this close end of the burden tube the tooth sector will rotate and so that the pinion will rotate and this pointer is attached with the pinion so it will deflect so here you can see the animation 
so from this animation you can understand the working of the burden tube pressure gauge more images to understand the pressure gauge so here you can see this is the boiler shell wall and this burden tube pressure gauge is attached to the boiler this is the siphon tube so the shape of the siphon tube may be u tube shape also one more animation so here you can see the movement of the burden tube will be amplified with the help of the sector and pinion so that the pointer will indicate the pressure of the steam if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video